Good morning. Hello. Oh, crap. That's a lot of markers. <laughs> That'll take you long to find it. Good morning. My good boy. Where are you going? Where did I see it? <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. I think I just heard Winnie wake up too, so she'll be out in a sec and then we'll read what the note says. Okay. <laughs> Sheppy. Jassy was trying to get him. Come here, Joss. Good boy. <laughs> Ooh, what is it? What is it, buddy? A note? Ooh, I think Sheppy wants us to have a three color challenge tonight. That's what it says. Is that a good idea? That's a lot of stuff in there. Oh my goodness. Holy. Today, can we um, can open those? Yeah, we're gonna open those too. It's gonna be a fun day. Good or good? Ooh, that'll be fun. I just saw it over here. All right. Ooh, that's the good stuff. Okay, do you know how to open it? <laughs> oh, wow. What do we got? Markers? Let's open it. I think it's got all the colors. It even has pink and purple. Look. Yay. Awesome. Ten markers in that one. That's good. Ooh, a box. A box. Yay! I can color it. <laughs> yeah, you can color it. Good idea. A book. There is a book I didn't even know. Wow. Oh, and they are good, fun pictures. <gasps> a dolphin unicorn? A real unicorn? A football chicken? <laughs> a cat. Wait. Oh, that is so cute. A cat with a frog. And popcorn, that's so fun. We definitely should color some of these today. That is so fun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this sports chicken. <laughs> that's Red. cute. That looks like, it says right here. Look, if you look here, I think Mark. you can put the markers and everything inside here and make it like an organized kind of deal. We should try that. Do then I you can know? see all your colors. Do I know? Um, sure. We have time this morning. Let's try. Okay, we can try. Yeah. yeah. More no. markers. Ooh, twenty in this one. Pencil crayons. I don't. Have you had pencil crayons before? You've had real crayons before. And glitter glue. And pencil crayons and markers and markers. What is that one? <gasps> no way. They're silly scents. They smell. Look at these. They're like. Um, pencil crayons too, but they're smelly. It's smelly. Good morning, by the way. It's smelled <laughs> up. How do you open this baby? Can we? I know how. You know how? I think we gotta open it. it. Yes. All right. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Winnie wanted to show our friends. She said, "Let's show our friends, Mom." <laughs> Looks great, doesn't it, Win? We've never had a big organizer like this before. We don't know if we did it the way it was supposed to be done, but. We think it looks right, eh, Wen? No, I don't think it looks right to me. It doesn't look right to you? Yeah, well. Three color challenge tonight. So are we doing it with all these things? Yeah. Doesn't it's that sound be... fun? Yeah. Are all these the in the one pack? Yeah. What do you think, Coop? Cool. I can't remember having these when I was little. Those are smelly. Smell it. Yeah. I remember having like ones like this one mm -hmm. when I was in like school. When you were in like school? When I was in like school. Oh. Elementary. Daddy. Oh, what is it? What? I don't know. What is it? 
It's an early birthday present. Why? <laughs> Scratchers? <laughs> I know what this is. It's an attempt to get the budget balance for Christmas. I'm <laughs> Icy squares. <laughs> the goal is to be a diabetic by Christmas morning. <laughs> We're working on it. Mm -hmm. We love you from Winnie. This is really nice. I don't know why it's my birthday today. How come? We thought we'd give you something to do at work today. I just thought I was looking old today. I'm feeling old today. Mm. All right. Cover that tent up, baby. Nine more days. Nine more sleeps till Santa comes. And you know what we forgot to do yesterday? What? We forgot to grow those things. The Santa Christmas tree and reindeer. So let's do that after school, okay? We are running a little bit late this morning, but that's fine. Um, we'll be 10 minutes late for school. Well, not late for school, late for drop off. My kids are actually, some of the first kids dropped off at school. So we're never actually late, even if we are late. When he's twisting, that's the noise you're hearing. <laughs> it's been a fun morning. Okay, we are gonna stop? open this calendar together. We're not gonna open Winnie's chocolates this morning because she wants to wait and open that with daddy and what he's already gone. Stop? We already opened those ones, so let's open. What's this one? We're at number nine. This it's Gary. Gary. I'm excited. I love Gary's Gary. Right oh, Gary fell. <laughs> Good. Those are Larry's up there. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love them. I love them so much. Oh, I'm totally putting these on right now. I love them. Oh, I love Gary. So cute. Best ankle socks ever. I love them so much. Dun, 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 dun. I just did a little Lord of the Dance dance and you didn't see it, but <laughs> it's probably a good thing. Do it. <laughs> you can't see it while I'm holding the camera. <laughs> okay, so I've been busy this morning getting laundry done, doing dishes, cleaning up, doing everything because tomorrow is the kids' last day of school for Christmas break. And it's my last day of babysitting for Christmas break. So I can't believe it, you guys. Like literally from like right now where I'm sitting today, Thursday, next week at this same time, it's Christmas Eve. <laughs> Can you believe it? Okay, so Curtis isn't here today and I actually don't even know if he works another day shift before Christmas because he, oh wait, yes, he works Christmas Eve, which is a total bummer, but um, it's okay. He's got Christmas day off. We've actually been really lucky up to this point. He hasn't had to work um, Christmas Eve or Christmas day during the day. He has worked, actually the majority of our marriage, he's worked Christmas Eve night. So, or no, Christmas day night, I meant. So um, he would be exhausted because Christmas Eve is exhausting. Christmas Day is exhausting. And um, Christmas Day night, when the family's going to sleep because we're all so tired, daddy's putting his uniform on and going to work. So I am so grateful this year he's only working Christmas Eve. And actually, it worked out for us because since COVID and everything, our church is having two Christmas Eve services. So you had to sign up for what service you wanted to go to to make sure they had uh, seating for you and everything. So um, we're actually going on Christmas Eve Eve and our whole family's coming with us. So you guys know that I'm not 100% on church right now. I don't even think I'm 50% on church right now, but we will go to church on Christmas Eve Eve because... I, I gotta pay my respects, okay? I gotta pay my respects to my king. I love you. I just don't love your church right now. <laughs> and you know what? I There's a lot of churches that aren't being run the right way. It's not that my church isn't. It's just, I got hurt, man. And I, I'm an elephant and I'm trying to forgive and forget and live my best life and all that stuff. But you know what? Sometimes that's easier said than done. And when you're hurt like on the inside, it's deep, you know? And I was commenting or typing back in comments to one of my friends yesterday who also got hurt by her church. And I said something, yeah, okay. I said, 
your relationship with Christ is something so personal that even like Curtis and I know each other like better than anybody knows anybody. And he doesn't get my relationship with Christ as much as I do, you know, like he gets it, but he's like, he doesn't get it, you know, <laughs> it's weird. But I, when you, when you add humans, which would be your church into your relationship with Christ that is personal, it just causes friction sometimes. And I think I was just too involved and I got hurt, but you know, too involved in my church. I mean, I don't want to talk about that right now. Let's not, <laughs> let's not, let's do the fun thing because I got out Curtis's stocking and I know you guys are going to ask Miranda, where did you get that stocking? Well, let me tell you, I can't remember. <laughs> I, um, ordered it on Etsy for him. I can't remember what um, vendor I went with, but they, you can buy these on Etsy. It's a firefighter stocking. And this was one of his presents for Christmas several, several years ago when I did his stocking. So we've actually gone through a lot of Christmases where we haven't bought each other anything just because we've been financially, you know, strapped for cash and we wanted to spend all our money on the kids. So, and uh, I mean, we still did that this year. It's just, we also bought for each other and all we did is stockings and we did give ourselves a limit of a hundred dollars and then Curtis upped it to, I think it was 160, but I basically just, he gives me a number and I said, okay, I'll buy, <laughs> I'll stay under it, honey, don't worry. And then what I secretly do is, uh, I just buy things that look like it would only cost a certain amount. Like if something I thought was only worth $5, but I paid $20 for it, to me, that's still a $5 item. <laughs> Don't tell them. <laughs> I do this every year. You can't tell them. And it's going to be great because he's not watching today's video because I have, I told him, you're not going to be able to watch tomorrow's video, honey, because I'm going to be talking about your presents. So it's exciting. So what I do since Curtis's birthday is, um, on December 22nd, which is just a few days before Christmas. Um, I buy just a crap ton of stuff. I do it every year. I buy a crap ton of stuff for Curtis. And then once I'm done buying everything, well, actually I look at things multiple times and make sure that I have enough for both. Um, but then once I'm for sure done buying, then I divvy it up. So like anything that is too much for the stocking to make it look like I got him too much stuff and went over. I just put it into his birthday pile, you know? Anyways, okay. So I got some fun stuff. The first two things I'm gonna show you is, are things that I'm not gonna wrap. So I got this and whoever watches Friends, you know Emily had this and Joey took it. <laughs> um, so I, I've never bought him one of these before, but I think we had some last year at someone's house or something and the chocolate's actually really good. So I got him this big giant one. I'm not gonna wrap it. And with this as well, they're just gonna, this is Frere Rocher, he loves these too, which is weird because they're not a normal chocolate. I actually don't even really like these. I really do like the different versions of these, but the plain ones, like, I could take or leave them. Like, I definitely would eat it, like, don't get me wrong, but it's not like the white ones with coconut on them. Those are so good. But these are just like, yeah, they're okay. Anyways, he loves them, so that's gonna go in the top of his stocking. Um, <laughs> these are one of the most favorite things that I found. These are just little $1.50 socks that I found at Giant Tiger, and you're not gonna be able to see it very well because it's like under the tag, but look. It's Santa and Mrs. Claus on a motorbike. It's me and my baby. <laughs> That's us, you guys. So I had to pick these up and they were only, they were on sale for $1.50. So kapuya, I was pretty happy with that. Um, I found this at Walmart. It's called a hug buddy. And it just clips into like your vents where your like heat and cold come out of. And then it hugs your phone and you can like stretch it anyway. So it can really get around any phone. And I mean, you know, you're not supposed to be like texting and driving or anything, but it is nice like when your phone beeps or goes off or someone's calling. Actually, we do have Bluetooth, so for calling, it doesn't really matter. Um, but if someone texts you, like, cause when I text Curtis, I usually text him like 10 times in a row. I'm one of those people. <laughs> you guys probably noticed. I just splashed my face with water. <laughs> you guys have probably noticed 
um, on Instagram if you've ever messaged me that I am, I send a lot of texts and that annoys Curtis, but that's just how I am. I'm sorry. I'm one of those people. Um, so last or two years ago, I bought Curtis um, a coach fragrance, which was a hundred dollars. I got a sample of it from Sephora and it was a man's sample. So I gave it to him and it smelled so divine. Like it smelled so good. And he wore it a few times because it was like one of those little eau de toilette, little uh, capsule thingies. Anyways, he wore it a few times and I guess he noticed or he at least thinks that I was all over him when he was wearing it. So he wanted me to buy him some, but it was a hundred freaking dollars. So I did, but like, I did not want to spend $100 again on that. We are not in a place financially right now where we should be spending $100 to smell better. You know, we're just not. So I found the next best thing. At Winners, I found these Eau de Toilette men's colognes and they were only $9.99 each. So, and I took them out of the box, I smelled them and they all smell really good. Actually, I find, I smelled them downstairs beside his coach one. They smell like, very alike. Like, how many times can I say like in a sentence? They smell good, really good. And maybe like he'll spray one of these, I'll be like, ooh, you're wearing your new cologne and then I'll be all over him and then he'll like them. Yeah. <laughs> so. I got those, I'll probably wrap them separately. I think he told me, maybe I'll wrap them together. He told me that he has 10 presents for me in my stocking. So that's part of the reason why I'm not wrapping the chocolates because I want it to look like we got the same amount of stuff for each other because I don't want to make him feel bad if he's still opening presents and I'm done. You know, like these are things that a gift giver thinks about. You know, actually <laughs> these are things that an overthinker thinks about right here. Um, I grabbed some of these. If you guys went shopping with us at Walmart one time in one of the vlogs, I was blown away at all of the amazing pine tree scents. Um, I wanted to buy him a whole bunch, but the only manly one that he would want to put in his car is this one, which is heat and it smells like cinnamon. There's a little scratch test right here. Oh, oh it smells like my favorite gum. Oh, I love cinnamon gum. My goodness. Um, anyways, it came with three. I wanted to get him more, but the only other ones they had were like cotton candy and they were, it was like pink and they had like a unicorn one and they had a bunch that I would like, but um, Curtis wouldn't use them. So, and I didn't really want to give him that kind of present because I didn't want to make him feel like I don't know him well enough because I do and I know he wouldn't even like them. So um, I also, I'm just trying to see, my little guy's gonna get dropped off soon and I think that's his mom's car. Uh, yes, it is. So <laughs> they actually live down the street from me, which is really cool in the summer. They just like walk back and forth from home to their home or from my home to their home. So anyways, Ooh, she got a big present or something in the back of her car. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll show you some more presents. So you guys saw this morning, Winnie and I gave him a little surprise bag with some lottery tickets. So um, he's gonna get more in his stocking. <laughs> um, these ones I thought were really cute because they're like Christmas themed. Anyways, uh, some more set for life, some more bingos and some more of those little ones. Um, so um, these are just gonna go in his stocking. And I used to like scratch tickets. I do not anymore. I am too competitive and I hate to lose. So every time I scratch these, I usually lose because <laughs> I think that's normal, um, but it makes me so frustrated and I get angry and then I don't wanna play anymore. <laughs> I'm literally a kid, you guys. I, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, like it's not the kind of game that if you scratch the circle off just right, you do it good, then you win. It's, it's a game of chance. <laughs> So it doesn't matter how good you scratch off the freaking scratchy stuff. It's still up to the lottery people if you win or not. So anyways, those are for him. He's going to be so excited because he also um, is going to get some for his birthday. Um, but the ones for his birthday, they're actually really fun. We wrapped them in a big like 
what do they call them? Manila envelopes or vanilla envelopes? I really don't know what that word is, but you know those like brownish, yellowish, orangish envelopes? Anyways, they're big and they're $10 cards and um, we got two of those for him for his birthday. So that will be fun. He's been scratching them this morning at work. He hasn't won anything yet. He's taking a Mario break with his coworker. They like to play a lot of Mario because paramedic life is sometimes someone dies in your hands. Sometimes um, you get called to like terrible, terrible calls. Sometimes you sleep, eat and play Mario. That's, it's so weird. I could never work a job like that. Cause you just literally never know. Like my stress would go like, like right now. Not for me. <laughs> um, I found this for him at Shoppers Drug Mart. Okay, this was the last one they had. It was regular $25, but it was on sale for $19.99. This is totally not necessary, and he might not even really use it that much, but um, it's a little like cooler. It's a little plug-in, USB plug-in, little refrigerator cooler that can hold one Coke. And you guys know we love our Diet Cokes here. And I thought this would be cute for him to put in the car and like when we were on road trips or something. And I just thought it was cute, okay? Like <laughs> it's not necessary, but I think that's what stockings usually are, right? Just like fun stuff that is cute and not necessary, but oh, I like to have that. I mean, just look at it. Isn't that adorable? Anyways. I kind of wanted it for me too, to be honest. So I kind of wish it would hold two cans, but maybe we'll just ice one can and share it and then put the other can in, get that cold and then share that. There's an idea. There's an idea. Okay. Two things left. Oh my goodness. Okay. Speaking of Mario, <laughs> I found some fun underwear for him. Um, these were only... $7.99 at Winners. And these are that really soft material. The boys have a bunch of these already, but this is the first Mario one that I found, which is so perfect. And it's like the old school Mario too. I love it. It says power up on the back. <laughs> He's going to love that. Is it having Mario? Yeah, it doesn't have a Mario. It's not licensed, is it? No, it's not. Anyways, but it's still cool and I love it and he's gonna love them. Okay, so the last thing was something that um, I found at Giant Tiger uh, weeks in advance and they were actually on sale for $5. Um, and I thought, oh my goodness, I should get that. But then at, weeks ago, I didn't know if we were going to buy each other presents. I should have thought about it and thought either way, I'm gonna buy him a birthday present. I should pick it up when it's $5, but I didn't. Unfortunately, but that's okay. I ended up paying $11.99 for it, but um, it's still worth it because I know he's gonna love it. It's not just his favorite team, but it's also his favorite player. So, and we saw him play in real life, which is really fun. Um, I'd love to go back to another Leafs game when all of this ends. I'd actually, I would like to go once a year with Curtis to go out and watch a Leafs game. Maybe someday we will, but maybe we'll have to wait till like our big family trips are done just because those are expensive. <laughs> but we're thinking at some point, we still need to go to Niagara Falls. We need to go to a Jays game. Need is not <laughs> what I mean. We want to go to Toronto in the summer so we can go to a Jays game, we can go to Canada's Wonderland, and we can go to Niagara Falls. Um, I've never been to a Jays game my entire life. So I think it's a need for me. I did go see the Expos play when I was a kid, um, and that was really fun. But I gotta go to a Jays game. Like, are you, I, I just, I, I don't know, I want to. Um, and then the only other trip I want to make with the family is of course a trip to Disney. Those are the two most important trips that I feel like I wanna get done in the next four years, um, simply because Skylar's in grade nine and I want us all to go together. And once Skylar's out of high school, I think it will be really hard to make it work, to make him wanna come. <laughs> and I mean, Frig, I don't know who, uh, 
It's just going to be so weird. What do you do when you have a kid that's not a kid anymore? Like, I know a lot of you guys are there. I'm getting nervous for it. <laughs> but Skylar and I have a really good relationship still right now. And I just want to maintain that. That's the only goal. <laughs> the trips aren't a goal. I the, the major goal is that my kids still like me and love me. That's the major goal. But I really do want to take those trips. And I'm because of the whole COVID thing, I don't know if traveling is going to be a thing this year or like not this year in 2021. I'm hoping so. But anyways, okay. Enough about that. Um, I'm going to get all these things put away. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's one more thing for his stocking that I can't show you because I already wrapped it. <laughs> this is the item that I got from Hallmark for him. And honestly, this, ugh, if somebody gave me this, I would cry. I would cry straight up because I like, it's making me excited. Just, <laughs> just thinking about it. It is like, I don't know. It's a good one. It's a good present. I don't want to tell you what it is. I want you to wait and come back on Christmas day. Well, it'll be Christmas. It'll be boxing day when you guys see the Christmas day video, but I want you guys to see what it is so bad because it is like, it's like our childhood, our faith, and Christmas all wrapped into like one beautiful piece that's going to look so good in our house for many years to come. And I'm so glad that I bought it because I wanted it for me. But if I give it to Curtis, <laughs> then it's for me too, right? We live together. Um, but also this is something that's very um, important to both of us, but it's extra important to him. So, um, he's going to love it. And I, I, Oh, this is the best part. The gift giving so fun. Oh, I'm really excited. I'm not going to wrap these today. I don't think it is 11 o'clock. Um, I really want to get stuff done, um, that I can't do with the kids home. So, um, this isn't one of those things um, because I want, I actually, should I wrap the kids stockings? See, Skylar's home right now because um, he only goes to school every other day. So maybe I'll do the kids' stockings tomorrow. Um, yeah, I just got to get some stuff done that I can't or that it's harder to do when the kids are here because they're going to be here for two weeks after tomorrow. And I am so excited. Oh, my goodness. Guys, let me tell you something. Hold on. Let me clean this up and then I'm going to have a little chat with you guys because I want to tell you how crazy busy our next week is going to be. Okay. So let me get <laughs> like, I'm sweating. Like it's going to be, you know, okay. Just hold on. I'll talk to you guys in a second. <sighs> okay. I got a little work done. Um, and now I'm going to open a few cards while I talk about how busy my next week is going to be. So <laughs> this is from Marie. And I'm going to open it. And like I said, guys, I open mail really weird because I um, don't want to show you guys addresses um, just because I'm sure people want to be a little bit more um, secretive about where they live, which that's probably a good idea because you never know who's on the internet. This is a really cute card. Oh my goodness. How do I do it? Okay. Mary. Okay. Hold on. It looks like this. That's really cute. And then how do I make it stand up? I Oh, I figured it out. Okay. To Miranda Curtis, Skylar Cooper, Winnie, and Jasper, wishing your family a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, thank you, Marie. Oh, that's so cute. And she got me a Tim's card. Thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. That's so fun. And you know what? Um, I've been saying, okay, here we go. I've been saying for a really long time, ever since the Riverview, the Riverview, a little town um, near me called Riverview has set up their Christmas lights. They're absolutely stunning, beautiful, and gorgeous. And I really want to take the kids to go walk around. Speaking of the kids, do you want to come say hi? <laughs> Look what he's wearing today. Hello. <laughs> Love it. Um, Anyway, so I think we're going to do that really soon and then we can bring the gift card and everybody can get a little treat at Tim's after or before 
And look at this card, stinking cute. Look, I made it. And it's like a little craft now. That's adorable. He's so cute. Thank you so much, Marie. That's really sweet of you. Um, okay, so tomorrow, what is tomorrow? T tomorrow is Friday, okay? The kids go to school. Even Skylar goes to school, so <laughs> that's good. It's the last day of school, and the kids need to bring their teachers something to say Merry Christmas, which I haven't bought yet. I'm hoping that I can go today to our pizza place and get some gift certificates for everybody. Um, and today is my uh, supply teacher's last day. I'll mean tomorrow. Oh, okay. Perfect. Um, anyway, so I got to do that. Um, so they go to school and then when they get home, I have like a little party planned for Winnie's friends that come and I babysit them, um, because it's their last day here for two weeks. So I got some presents for them and then tomorrow night, um, we get to finally put the kids Christmas presents under the tree and it's such a fun tradition. The kids love, it's the first time they're allowed to touch their Christmas presents. They've seen most of them, but not all of them. And they won't see all of them until Christmas morning because we always fill up the living room on Christmas Eve. Anyways, oh, look how pretty this card is. This is from Colette and I'm wondering if it's... Oh, it is, aw, from my friend at Celtic Lassie. Um, Randa and family, joy to the world, to family and friends, at Christmas and always, love Colette, Rob, and Layla. <laughs> I feel like a kid because I didn't know what her boyfriend's name was, and now I do. <laughs> That's so cute, and I really love this card. That's really special. Thank you, Colette. That's awesome. Um, okay, this is from my friend Kim, who I just messaged her last night on Instagram because I lost her address. <laughs> and she's the one who um, sent me the elves, the Christmas elves. And I really wanted to send her a card back, of course. Um, and I don't know how I lost her address. I've been so good. I've sent every single person back a card that... <gasps> She picked the same cards that I picked for myself. Oh, that's so cool. Kim, we are so alike. I love it. Because I bought these too. Oh, I'll be home for Christmas at Santa in a train. Oh, your penmanship is gorgeous. Look, Christmas queen. That's me, baby. Oh, I love it. May you and your loved ones share in the joy of this magical season. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, and she said, thank you for making me so excited. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love you, honey. And now I got your address again. I just didn't notice that I had it on a card. Um, but thank you so much. Now I definitely know what your address is and it's in my Instagram DMs and it will live there forevermore. So <laughs> I will never lose it again. But that is so fun that we picked the same card. I wonder if you knew that I picked the same card as you, or if you're just finding this out now. Either way, I like you. <laughs> um, this is from Andrea. Oh, you guys, yes. I think this is my second card that looks exactly the same like this. And he's so cute. Actually, Winnie and I read a book this morning about a little golden lab like this. And she, so it was a library book from her school. And when she, she always brings puppies or kitties, dogs home. Oh my land, that was impossible to say. She always brings home animal books from the library every time, usually baby animals. And fun fact, um, she takes pictures with her iPad of every single puppy or kitty or whatever it is. On her iPad, there are millions of pictures. And if you're wondering what that is, that's, wait, hold on, right there. That's my dirty laundry basket that I should have brought back down to my room, but I haven't done it yet. Um, anyways, oh, cute, cute, look what's in here. Little stickers for Win. So, oh, and oh my goodness. Guys, like, I want a dog farm. That's, I just, I, when I get like the million dollar lottery win on those scratch tickets or whatever it is, like I want to live on a very clean 
Remember I said this before, like I don't want any mice or rats or anything at my farm. So yeah, we'll have to get like call in a specialist for that. <laughs> and I don't want it to smell. So we'll have to call in another specialist for that too. But I want to have so many dogs. Like I just, oh, the I'm looking at mine right now. He's all cuddled up on the chair. It's so cold outside, but he didn't want to come back in. And then finally, when he did want to come back in, he had the zoomies for like four minutes straight. I think he was trying to warm himself up. But anyways, okay, back to the card. It's all oh, cute. And it says it's better to give than to retrieve. <laughs> did the other card say that? And am I just forgetting? I, I don't remember, but I love it so much. Oh, thank you so much, Andrea. That's really sweet. Thank you so much, honey. I love this too. I told Winnie I would wait to open. I have a few packages and I told her I would wait um, to open those with her. Um, but I wanted to open the cards without her, but I told, cause she's kind of like, I know you guys love her and I do too, but it's kind of annoying to <laughs> open stuff with her right there. It makes me sweat a little bit extra. So, um, just because like she might flash the address or something and, oh, this is from Shelly. I didn't even notice until now. Hi, Shelly. Oh my goodness. Shelly's been around for so long. And I love her. I love her. Look at this card. That is so cute. <laughs> holiday greetings. Warmest wishes for the holiday season. Lots of lug, lug, lots of lug, lots of love, hugs, and kisses to everyone. Love, Shelly. Oh my goodness. Shelly, I love you, honey. Thank you so much. We're Christmas sisters. She's obsessed with Christmas too. So many of you, so I can't talk. Hold on. Let me get coffee. Okay. This is better. <laughs> I actually am down to like the last little rim. You can probably see right beside my ice tray there. See that little tiny bit of coffee left? Yeah, I drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> it's actually a good thing nobody else in my house drinks coffee because then I'd have to make two pots every day. Yes, I would. Because I don't like to share. <laughs> And on Christmas day, I always have to brew a pot of coffee. But what I did last year was I brewed a pot for me first <laughs> and had a few cups before anyone got here and I turned it off so it would cool down so I could fill it again and make more again. I think I will have to do that exact same thing this year. Um, this is from Heather. I just have two more cards to open. Oh, this is like, this is beautiful. This right here gold with like they look like antique you know that blown glass ornaments oh my goodness I don't have any do you guys remember bubble lights do you remember those I've seen a couple of them around in my like excursions shopping and stuff um and the bubble lights are gorgeous and I want some but I'm gonna wait until my kids are a little bit older because I know they're very breakable we oh I just had like a moment we used to have a set of bubble lights and at our old house growing up, um, we had a chimney and a fireplace and dad would always, oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm so excited that it's making me sad. Um, it was happy memories. He would line up the bubble lights and he would like, I don't, would he tape them or staple them? I don't know. I think he stabled him, but he probably shouldn't have done that because that could have ruined the mantle. <laughs> That's adult Miranda is thinking. Um, he would line them up there and then we'd hang our stockings right on that mantle. And those bubble lights were so pretty. And as a kid, like I thought they were absolutely pretty, but I don't think I appreciated the beauty like I do now, you know? I think when you're young, things are pretty and you're like, oh, that's pretty. You don't think like that's antique and special and that's like the kind of lights that, I just got goosebumps. That's the kind of lights that like our parents had at their house when they were young. I don't know. I think it, things just mean more to me now than they ever have before. And I just, oh, why did I even talk about that? <laughs> this is gonna be a long vlog, you guys. Um, anyways, that's what these remind me of blown glass and bubble ornaments. I don't even know how they make those. I want, are those blown glass too? I, I like the show how it's made. Have you guys ever seen that? I'm totally interested in finding out how things are made. This, the nerd comes out in me when that show comes on. 
<laughs> I'm certainly not a nerd because I think nerds need to be smart and that ain't me. So I got a little letter, which is adorable. And it says, best wishes for a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Heather in Alberta. Hey girl, hope you do, I hope you're doing okay. Thank you guys so much for these cards. They bring me a lot of joy and I'm gonna read that letter after, um, but I just wanna thank everyone for thinking of me this Christmas and I just feel like getting all of these cards, when I see like Curtis come home with the pile, I literally like my heart, I feel like the Grinch. Like my heart was small, but it's growing but my heart's not small. It's already big. <laughs> so it just makes me wonder how much bigger can it get? You know, I, actually, oh, it's so crazy. So crazy. Okay. The last one is from my friend Katie and she is all the way in, I don't know where, because what's MI? Is that Michigan? I don't know because I don't know all the abbreviations for the states, but she's coming from the states because there's three little American flag stamps. And oh, this is adorable. I'm gonna have to try these. These are like, are they nail stickers? I wanna try them. I wanna try them so bad. These are cool. I don't know how to do it, but I'll Google it and find out. Thank you so much, Katie. Wishing you all the warmth, joy, and love of the season. Look at the little mitten. That's so cute. I want to make crafts, you guys. Thank you, Katie, so much. I want to make crafts, and I'm mad because <laughs> I watch um, the on Facebook that Dollarama. There's too many Dollarama groups, and I'm in all a lot of them now. <laughs> and one of them is like a crafting one, and honestly, I'm ticked off because I can't do any of that. I can't, and I want to, but <laughs> I'm not crafty. But you know what? My friend Kelsey's pretty crafty. I wonder if she'd be interested in <laughs> having a craft day with the crafting illiterate and maybe she could help me craft something. I really want to be good at crafting, but I'm really not. <laughs> I have craft envy, you guys. Ugh, it makes me sad. <laughs> Speaking of crafts, oh my goodness, that just reminded me. I gotta write that down on my list. Hold on. I gotta write that down on my list. Christmas crafts. Cause I gotta do a Christmas craft clean out today because my bonus kids, they're only coming for one more day, like I said. And I wanna get all the Christmas crafts done. We have been doing them, but I know there's still some more in there that we haven't done yet. So I wanna make sure we get those done so they can take them home. Christmas craft clean out. Okay. Perfect. I have to do lists, guys. I really have to. I got my teacher gifts on this. I've got grow with me. What's that? Oh, <laughs> when you have to question your own notes, are they even good? Um, those friggin' Santa things that the kids got, we forgot to put them in water. So we have to do that today. Um, okay. Yes, got to finish the crafts. And I know when I started opening cards, I told you I was going to tell you about my crazy busy week. So let me go back and actually do that because I got too excited and the memories come. This I just talk too much. Like, I, it's all my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so Friday, I already said what we're doing Friday. Um, last day of school, got to bring teacher presents. Um, last day of work and we can put presents under the tree, which is gonna be so fun. And I will celebrate the occasion with a beverage. I have to, it's, it's, it's a tradition, okay? Um, but I won't be celebrating with my favorite wine because they discontinued it. Thanks a lot, Cabana. <laughs> oh, it sucks. Um, anyways, whatever, I'm sure I'll find another favorite wine. It can happen. I'm just really into that one and it's sad. Anyways, okay, fine. Um, Saturday what's going on Saturday, Winnie's birthday, um, Winnie's birthday party, kids are coming over. Skylar has a basketball game also. Um, Sunday, we're going to church. I'm saying it, we're doing it. I'm forcing myself to do it and I will 100% be taking um, a lorazepam before I even start getting ready for church. Like as soon as I wake up, I am like, I'm already, I already feel anxious. 
I already feel anxious. Like, this is terrible. It's only a place with people that I know. I shouldn't be so scared to go there. They actually um, asked us if we would be a family to light the Advent candle at the Christmas Eve service, which we like have to read from the Bible and stuff. We've done it before a few years ago, um, but I had to decline. I literally, I felt awful when I saw the email and I was like, oh, but I, oh my goodness, I literally feel sick to my stomach right now. Anxiety messes with you so bad and it's doing it to me now. Okay, fine. So I, I literally told her in the email that uh, my anxiety is so bad, I will be happy to get in the door. I can't, um, oh my goodness. Literally, this is happening right now. Okay, sorry if it's triggering for anybody. But I'm gonna take a lorazepam Sunday morning. I'm gonna say my prayers. And I'm gonna ask for strength because your girl needs strength. And also less anxiety if we could let's just tone it down a bit okay um so yes we're gonna go to church sunday then <laughs> let's move past that um okay um cooper has a basketball game and then right after the basketball game we're going to swish la with our camping crew we're called the coblinuses um because it's a mixture of our last names um then so swish la and then we're going to the zoo and we're going to do the zoo lights where we did it last year. If you watched Christmas with me last year, then um, you know what zoo lights are. And it's fun. And it snowed the last time we were there. And we're actually supposed to get snow today and tomorrow. So <laughs> maybe there'll be snow again. Maybe I'll get hit with a few more snowballs. Eh, Nathan? <laughs> oh, anyways. Um, then, um, okay. And then Sunday night, we got to rush back here because um, Skylar has basketball practice as well. So... Monday. What's the date on Monday? Hold on. I don't even know. I got out a book. There's nothing written in here, but it helps me to see the date. So Monday, um, we're going to do our, no, not that. <laughs> we're going to do um, the family. I got red cheeks now. Sorry, mom. <laughs> we're going to do the family game day where there's going to be prizes all over the table when they wake up from Chevy. So that'll be Monday. Um, then Tuesday is Curtis's birthday. So we're going to be doing that. And what else? I don't know. There could be basketball any of these days. I don't even know. Um, Wednesday is going to be another crazy day because that's Winnie's birthday and the day that we're going to church and after church. So in the morning, Winnie's going to open the presents from us. Um, and from Skylar and Cooper. And speaking of which, I got to buy, I didn't even think to ask them what they wanted to give her. So hold on, <laughs> adding it to the list. Yes, purple pen. You knew it. Um, boys gifts. Winnie. B day. I don't know. Why do I write notes like this? Why can't I just write <laughs> like an actual sentence? Boys gifts, Winnie B day. That makes sense to me. Okay. So she'll open those, uh, likely she'll open them um, in the morning and then we'll have like a regular day, I think, until um, the church time. And then at the church time, which I think it's at 6.30 or something like that, um, we're going to go to church. We're not going to be doing the Advent reading and lighting the candle. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Um, but our families are going to come with us, so that's going to be really special. I'm hoping we can sit together that's like, oh, I just, okay, stop, Miranda. <laughs> I've, I'm sentimental today. I don't know why. I just, I think this time of year gets me all riled up, you know, makes my emotions go zing, zang, zong. Um, okay, and then, so after church service, why not? Because <laughs> there's no other time we can do it. We're going to do Winnie's birthday party with the family after church, so probably the party will start around 7 30 8 o'clock and then the next day's christmas eve so i'm hoping and praying winnie will sleep in <laughs> on christmas eve because she's going to be staying up late for her birthday party um but that's really the only time we could fit it in because a lot of people are still working all day long um and i want them to be able to come too so all right so that's December 23rd December 24th do I even need to say it it's Christmas friggin Eve 
which it's like, so I'm looking at the dates and like in my head, I'm knowing the dates and knowing all of the things that we're doing and thinking, holy crap, when do we take a rest? <laughs> Because in between all of this, I still got to do my baking, still got to do regular mommy duties like laundry and um, cooking regular meals and all of that stuff. Um, and I still, I haven't finished wrapping the kids' stockings, Curtis's stocking, and that all takes time. But like, these are all fun things, except for the washing the dishes part, but I still have paper plates. So that will help that. Um, Christmas Eve, I don't know that we're going to do too heck of a lot. Um, we're not going to have to do church on Christmas Eve because we're doing it on the 23rd. So that's good because Curtis is working on the 24th. Um, and I believe we're still doing a dinner at Jen's house, Jen and Nathan's house. So that's Curtis's brother and our sister-in-law, if you didn't know. And she also is my hairstylist and we love Jen and you love Jen. Um, <laughs> they also have a foster child right now. So it's going to be the best Christmas of her life and I'm declaring it and it's going to happen. Um, she's going to have so much fun and she is such a fun little girl and I wish I could like introduce you guys to her, but I really can't. There's so many rules around foster children to protect them and keep their, um, where they're placed safe. Um, anyway, so it's just going to be fun and I can't wait. So then Curtis will get home around eight o'clock on Christmas Eve, as long as he doesn't get a late call. And I will be praying and hoping, hoping and praying all day that he doesn't end up with a late call. Because if he does end up with a late call, that means I'm gonna have to leave the cookies out for Santa with the kids by myself. And um, I don't wanna do that. I wanna be able to um, celebrate all that, like do all of that, all the traditions with him too. And we always watch the Polar Express too. And, uh, I don't know. I want to be able to do that with him. And if he gets home around eight o'clock, then no problem. We'll be able to do it and we'll have so much fun. And then the kids will go to bed at like 10 o'clock. Cooper won't fall asleep till like 1.30 because he is just like me, excited for Christmas. Um, he's a worrier too, that kid. Um, anyways, whoops. <laughs> then it's Christmas day. And Christmas Day is going to be amazing. And that is my um, update on what I'm doing in the next week. So I'm sure your week is very similar to mine. I'm sure it's busy. Um, I'm just grateful that we can be with family right now because my heart truly goes out to everybody who can't. That makes me really sad. And uh, I hope that watching these videos might bring you a little joy and make you feel um, like you're hanging out with your family. That's truly what I want. Um, and Winnie's so cute. She loves you guys so much. Your, your names are all mommy's friends. Um, I tell her your names when you leave her messages or send her things and just, you're all known as mommy's friends. So that makes me feel really good because I've never really had friends since I've been a mom. So, I mean, I've had like side friends, like, like, Hey, how's it going? Not like, Hey, you want to come out with us or you want to do this? Like, Hey, can I come over? I'll bring you a coffee. Like I don't have friends like that. So for me to have you guys, it means the whole world to me. It, it's changed my life. Honestly, it really has. And, um, all I want to do is make you guys happy and make you feel like you got a friend in me. <laughs> Corny, yes, but that is truly what I want. So, all right, I have so much work to do. I probably won't pick you guys back up until it's time to open those packages. I'm going to put a YouTube video on and get this butt to work. Um, I've been doing stuff all morning though, you guys, and I feel super productive. And even though I just said all of those things that I have to do in the next week, I'm not stressed out about that. But as I'm saying that, I just had a little twinge of stress about the church situation. So <laughs> that's the only thing that I'm nervous about. But I, even if I have a full-blown panic attack, which <laughs> I shouldn't even talk about that because then it's going to make it happen. I'm going to jinx myself. No, I won't. I'm going to I'm gonna make it, guys. I'm going to make it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited talking about this makes me like really excited now I'm gonna hit up this list and I already have a grocery list started too oh shoot that's something else I gotta do 
<laughs> I'm going to Costco next week. But my plan is I want Curtis to come with me. I want the kids to stay home, babysit each other. And um, I want Curtis to come to Costco with me because I there's a few things that I want to pick up that I want his involvement in. Anyways, you'll understand on Christmas, okay? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got to do that too. Lots of things, lots of things. Can't believe it. Holy crap. We're a week away, guys. It's pretty freaking awesome, isn't it? All right, look who's home from school. It's the queens together. <laughs> so Winnie wanted to help open some packages. Let's open it. All right, we got four big packages to open. And, uh, no, three big packages in one box. Oh, okay. Yes, you are correct. This is from my friend Kathy. Kathy. She comments all the time. But there's something right here. So yeah, I just don't want to lose her address. Don't show them the address. Yeah, I know. It's so tricky, huh? Uh-huh. Ooh. Ah, the address is on <gasps> And the first thing is for Winnie. I thought it only said one. It says mommy's name, but that doesn't mean people can't send you stuff too. It's Rapunzel and it says magic towel. I think that means when we put it in water, it grows. So we will do that after, okay? What's the same? Oh my goodness. What's the same? Another one. Another, and that's shaped like a heart. Wow. What? And another one. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, that's really sweet. We totally could give one to Colton and I. Um, this one's beautiful. This one's for Addie oh. because I want the I want the Rapunzel. You Addie are so open. sweet to think of your friends Let's like go. that. Open, open. Oh, because. some very nice stickers. Winnie, that says ho ho ho, <laughs> just like in <laughs> Winnie. Do you want to sing the song for our friends or not really? No. no? <laughs> There's a little song that Winnie sings with her class on a video, and now we sing it all the time at home, and it says ho, ho, ho in it. It's like, call a bell, Noel, yeah, my visite. You probably didn't hear that, but she, she whispered it. <laughs> oh, look at these. Oh, yeah. Wake up and smell the coffee, you guys. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I'm going to be doing some more baking. Oh, this is so cute. Live every moment with joy and laughter. Mom, 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 there's something I love right that. here. There's a big box right here. Let's see what it is. Hold on. Let's back this Whoa, up. Whoa, I knew it was a box. Can I open the box? Oh, I'm trying to get the angle right, guys. It's hard because Winnie's a lot smaller than I am. Can I open the box? Yeah, go for it. Ooh, it might be breakable. Be careful. <gasps> My goodness, they're like little gingerbread stockings. Look at this. Beautiful. Those are so cute. Look at the beautiful wrapping paper. Of course, the pink. Actually, that is cute wrapping paper. Oh, very outdoorsy. These are so cute. And I have like one for Skylar, one for Cooper, one for Witty. So fun. Look, they're little gingerbread I things. Okay, put the paper back in there so I can set it in carefully so we don't chomp it up. I will share with they you. made it safely here. Kathy, I'm sure you were probably worried that they might die in the mail. Don't. Yeah, I'm just going to be real careful. There, we don't even need to close it because I'm going to put them right on the tree when we're done this. All Some right. Yep. Thanks. Still. Oh, look, a card. Perfect. Oh, and who's it to? What is that? An eraser. <laughs> Pencil hockey stick. That's neat. <gasps> what? It's a Dr. Seuss calendar? What? Now. One for Skylar, one for Cooper, and they're their favorite colors, blue and green. Blue is Cooper, green is Skylar, one always for me. in this house. And one for you, and it's a little pinkish. <gasps> and a Christmas pickle? <laughs> and maybe that one's for me. Yes, this is for all of us. Perfect. And good news, her her Bubble address rock. is in this, so I don't need to keep the Bubble envelope. Rock. This is so cool. Is there? Okay, pop some for fun. 
Thank you so it's much hard. for this. It's, hard. I can't pull it's too it. hard to do it. Yeah. yeah. Those ones are a little tricky. Look at this. Dr. Seuss. And look at December. <laughs> it's the Grinch. Oh my goodness. This is so nice. And Winnie, do you know who this is? I am Sam. Sam, I am. Right? Mr. Would you, then what? Would you like green eggs and. <laughs> We like that book, don't we? Book. Oh, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Horton hears the who, cat in the hat. Sam. There's Sam. Oh, this is so cool. Thank Let's you, Kathy. Hold on, hold on. You didn't open your card. My card. Yeah, I got to open my card too. Yeah, that's got that's your name so right on it. Yeah, it says know. you. Aw, the word of the season, you guys. Joy, absolutely. Let's see it. What? Is this happy sixth birthday? Let's see. It says, being a princess is hard work, but you do it so well. Hope you have the best birthday ever. From Kathy, Jamie, Katie, Jenna, Shep, Shemp, and Skye. Shemp is a dog and Sky is a cat. Sky. Yeah. <laughs> What do you say? Thank you. That's so fun. That's your first birthday card this year. That's so fun. And I got a Christmas card. Merry Christmas, Miranda Curtis, Skylar Cooper, and Winnie. Wishing you a peaceful and joyful holiday season. Merry Christmas. Love, Kathy and Jamie, Katie, Jenna, Shemp, and Skye. Thank you guys all so much. Same. Yeah? It's because it's from the same people. Let's do this. Thank you. That was really sweet. Oh, Kathy, I love address. you, girl. Very cool. I know. I'm trying to hide the addresses. I saw the address. No! Is it the numbers? Yeah, the numbers. That one actually got rubbed off. Oh, I so saw I don't it. even I saw, I saw the numbers. It got a little bit rubbed off. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, they can't really see it because it must have got wet or something. Because it. No, but I think I can make out who it's from, and I'm hoping. There's a card. Yeah, there's, there's a card, a card. on the end. Yeah, that's got my address on it. People can see. <gasps> no, you didn't. I was looking for this. Oh, my. <laughs> Thank you it's so stopped. much. It's, it's a Mickey Blakey. Oh. I was looking for this. Oh my goodness. And guess this what? Mom told you that stuff again. We set up our basket with blankets last night. So this will go perfectly in our basket. It'll be another snuggle buggle. This one has and something. I think I can kind of tell the last name, but I'm not sure. Um, and it doesn't have a card inside. I think it's from yeah. my friend April. I I really can't tell you guys. <laughs> it's totally like wiped out. But it looks like the last name might be. They saw the address. Yeah, but you, I really can't make it out. It might be from April. So April, if it's from you, let me know. And if it's not from April, whoever sent it to me, let me know because I want to send you something back. So let me know. I think I it is from my friend April because that last... It's got, she's got kind of a soap opera name, if that's who it's from, April Adlington. I think that's how you say it. So if it's you, let me know, because I already have your address. But if it's somebody else, let me know, because you need to be thanked with respect and dignity and a thank you card. <laughs> I am so excited, you guys. I have been looking for this. I have been looking for this at the Dollarama for like two weeks, because that friggin' Dollarama group, you guys, they give me like... I get so upset when I can't find what other people have now and I'm walking, looking and looking. And now I just have friends who buy stuff for me and that's the best. Thank you so much. So exciting. Oh, did they see the address? Maybe. I hope not. Oh wait, this address is super small. Oh, that's only my address on there. Oh, there's an address on the back. So hopefully they didn't see the back. This is from Leslie. Oh, yes. Yeah. <gasps> from Scotland. This came all the... I don't want to show the address. This came all the way from Scotland. That is not in Canada, and that is not in America. And who's Leslie? Her name's Leslie. She's one of my friends. 
All the way from Scotland. That's across the Open ocean. It. Holy moly. I did know I have some friends from Scotland because I've been speaking to you guys down in the comments and I think that's so cool because I totally would love to go to Scotland someday. I actually think my family is from Scotland. Not Oblinas. My, um, like my family, the Murrays. Because I think we have like, does every family have their own um, tartan? Or, hold on, Miranda and Curtis. Okay, just wait. Because this is why it gets annoying with her. <laughs> she wants to move before I'm ready. Um, does every family name have a tartan? Or do you have to be from Scotland or Ireland or something to get one? Like, this might sound really stupid, but I'm generally really curious. You're genuinely really curious. Because the Murrays, that's me. I'm not an Oblina. just by marriage, but you can't tell. Because I'm allergic to my ring now because of the sanitizer. That is so cool. And yes, I just called it sanitizer because that's what we call it with her. But anyways, but I'm really curious about that because I do think that the Murrays originated in Scotland. Name. To Winnie. <gasps> Let me open the card first and then you can open that. Oh, now this is cute. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas wishes. Sending Merry Christmas wishes across the miles. No kidding. From, open it. from Scotland to here. That's a lot of miles, my friend. A lot of miles. Oh, look at the little guy on the back. Oh, so cute. So cute. Open it quick. M to Miranda, Curtis, and family. Hoping this little Christmas card with... Hoping yeah. this little Christmas <laughs> card with happy yeah. thoughts tucked yeah. in it will make the miles in between Whoa. us disappear Whoa. for just a Whoa. minute. Whoa. That's Whoa. so Whoa. cute. Whoa. Have Whoa. an amazing time. Whoa. From Whoa. Leslie. Whoa. And, yes, love from Leslie and family. Leslie. Aww. She said, I just wanted to send a gift to Winnie. Hope you don't mind. I don't mind at all, honey. These children deserve to be spoiled, okay? <laughs> My name. Yeah, that is your name. Let's open it. Okay, go for it. You can open it. Yay. Oh, Thank you so much, good. Leslie. I hope you have an amazing Christmas, too. Wow. Great time. This is so I crazy can, cool. I need this. Yeah. I can, I okay, can well, it. just be careful because I don't know what's in there. <laughs> She's using my scalpel. Okay, just be careful. What? This is weird. What's under there? <laughs> you make, okay, you're making me nervous with the scalpel. What's under there? Okay. Oh, let's keep the tag too, because that's special. It's got a little ballerina. That's so cute. I love it. What? What did she send you? <gasps> what? Oh my goodness! What is this called? Okay, brilliant hair bands. So we can make, okay, create eight fab hair bands. Decorate with flowers and beads. Do you want to make these with me? And can you make one for me too? Addy can do it too. And yeah, we'll do it with you. Actually, maybe we can make them today. Do you want to? What do you say to Leslie? Oh, thank you. Thank you. What Thank you more? so much. That's so thoughtful Open of you more. to think of Winnie. Open more. Are you excited? Just wait. I want to see what this looks like on the inside. Oh. Whoa. <gasps> Purple and pink beads. Purple and pink flowers. Oh, this is so fun. You know what? You know who else would like to have one of these? Aunt Kimber. Well, Maybe we should make... Over and the Addy. Because Aunt Kimber is coming for a sleepover this weekend. Woo! Getting the party started. Oh, yeah. When I was going through the list of things that we're doing, also on Saturday night, Kimber's coming for a sleepover. My sister. I so that's going to be so to fun. Open the box. Okay. I don't want to. Okay. We're ready. We're ready Please. for it. Oh, my land. This is a heavy one. This is from. Does it say Stephanie? I can't Camden see. Camden Sinnel. Camden Sinnel. <laughs> I don't think that's her name. Uh, <laughs> oh, we need the scalpel. Yeah, we need the scalpel. Ugh. You got it. You're strong. Yeah. <laughs> that's a nail box. Another box. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is 
so fun, you guys. I bought this in a box, but not. I don't want to lose the address, so I already got it. Oh, no, 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 no. Woo! Can, can All right, let's some. find which way we got to open it. I want some of this. Okay, hold on. Okay, look out. Here we go. Oh, Skippa! This is really heavy. I'm sure you spent a lot to ship this. all the way in London, Ontario. Hi, oh my goodness. I love him. Yeah. Gigi. <gasps> what? <laughs> Winnie, whose favorite candy is Sour Patch? Yes. I love it. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm so excited. <gasps> Orange. Oh my goodness. Oh my Coming goodness. Out. Oh my goodness. <gasps> this is too much. <laughs> Coming out for me. Oh. For me. What? Oh my goodness. This is so fun. Open it. <laughs> These open it, dogs. Open it. This is the best. I am so excited. I oh my it. goodness. I got this it. is adorable. Sweet Christmas wishes. I got it. And you got a little blind toy. It was in there. It's a little squishy. It's in there. That's so fun, along with these amazing socks. <gasps> oh, I'm so, like, are you kidding me right now? Like, oh, whoops, that's an address. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> oh, and these, like, I just, I have to open it just to see what the orange smells like. Because orange is one of my very favorite. Oh, yes. Let me tell you something. When I was pregnant, all three times, my go-to was either Orange Crush or Orange Powerade or Orange Gatorade. I love orange. And Orange Popsicles, my favorite. Also Fuzzy Peach Popsicles. <coughs> mm -mm -mm. This is nice. So fun. Thank you so much. Oh, what is this? Deal or no deal card game? Yes. Look, sometimes you just have to rip it down like that. There you go. This would be fun to play. This would be really fun to play. We play this at the arcade. <coughs> I don't have coronavirus. I just need to drink. Yeah. Hold on. <coughs> I got this at Lesson's Party, too. Oh, yeah, yes, because we bought these before, too. Show our friends what it looks like. There's Gotta a, get my drink. Whoa. There's a little baby inside. <coughs> I got it. <laughs> a little baby. That's so cool. <laughs> Winnie's friend Adeline is watching us. She's sitting right on the other side. You're going to want to play with some of this stuff too, aren't you? Mm -hmm. There's a big box right there. Look at this. What? Oh my. No, wait. Oh, you're not ready? <gasps> Glitter gel pens? Glitter gel pens. Are you kidding me? These are I don't, these might be for winning, but I'm stoked. There's, <laughs> There's the card. No. Look at this pretty no, little one. It's got Jasmine it's Rapunzel. It's not for me. It's not just for me. The mini is for you. <laughs> You're so cute. I wonder are they, Oh, they're all different colors. Look. Let's share it. Yeah, let's, let's share. share for sure because, because there are different colors. Do you know whose share. color this is right here? Definitely. Belle. That's her yep, that's her yellow. Nice burnt yellow. Love it. Wait, Love it. That's what Panzer's. Yeah, that color purple. Definitely. Mm -hmm. This is so amazing. <gasps> what? <laughs> I love it. <gasps> no way. Oh, let's put one on. Me and you. Me yes. and you. Okay. I want pink. Okay. I want pink. Okay. Oh. Maybe Addie could put one on too. Yes. Okay. She can keep one home. You're so sweet. Which she can keep one for home. You go, Addie. She's so giving, you guys. You guys are so sweet to you us. Blue, blue, blue. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> these are the best. Yes. Thank you, Stephanie, I really so much. One of these. I saw them inside the store and I wanted one of them. You did? And I saw it on the video. Oh, okay. Let's Very open more. fun. Let's open more. Okay. 
Hold on, I don't want to miss anything. Okay. Yeah. Did we get everything so far? I actually really want to play this with the boys. Maybe we could do this on our I'm talking the bubble wrap. Thanks for the <coughs> bubble wrap. I'd like got too excited and I have like something stuck in my throat now. <laughs> no, this one. Stop it. Okay, it. It. I wanna what about what about what about SpongeBob SpongeBob I'm I'm uh, <laughs> this is for you. This is your size. Look. No, this one's for me. <gasps> that fits so perfect. And there's more. And 101 Dalmatians. Oh, Oh, are you kidding me? I just get all of them out. Just dump them. <laughs> what are you? Winnie, we got ma Oh, my God. What for you? What for you? Did you make these? Did you order them? We need more things. Oh, shut up. I look amazing. Oh, oh hold on. One thing at a time, Winnie. <laughs> How many times am I going to say that on Christmas Day? Maybe. You guys, I needed more masks. <laughs> this is amazing. Addy, don't laugh. Winnie, she can laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a cotton-headed. I'm a cotton-headed nitty muggins. Oh, we can wear matching. Nitty nuggets. <laughs> nitty nuggets. Oh, my Addy, bring goodness. That one home. So don't beautiful. Don't let it. Oh, look, a Cinderella one, Winnie. You didn't even notice that one. Look, that's gorgeous. <gasps> Tale is all this time. It's Beauty and the Beast. Oh, my goodness. You can have one. Oh, 100 one Dalmatians, gingerbread, a SpongeBob one for Mommy. <laughs> Try it. It's really good. Oh, my goodness. I put it on. This is so wild. Oh, that's good. That smells good. This is so wild. And you know what? The boys really needed some new masks, too, so I'm sure they'll be hitting up this stash. I want to see what this is. Paint. That is amazing. Stephanie, thank you. You did not. You went, like, way out of the park with this girl. Thank you so much. You overdid it. Thank you. And this is adorable. Where's the lid to this? Oh, this is going up as decoration. Today. Can we open this? Yeah, go for it, honey. Sweet Christmas wishes. <gasps> what? <laughs> no way. Oh my heck. And these are going in my windowsill. If they're not Christmas decoration, then I don't care. <gasps> don't be a jerk. It's Christmas. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? <laughs> You're so crazy, Winnie. Stickers! Two! Oh. Woo, baby! You want me. I must get the one Awesome. Oh, this is wild. Man! <laughs> this is so crazy. Hey, well, you can paint Rapunzel. You can paint Rapunzel. You can make that today if you want. Yeah! That's so amazing. And I had to some things too. Yes, we got a lot of crafts. This oh. is so fun. Oh, oh. Yeah. She this feels us. like Christmas. Look how much bubble wrap she got us. And it is Christmas. Look how much oh, bubble yeah. wrap. Oh, yeah. She got us. us a lot of bubble wrap because she got us too much. And we love bubble wrap. But we thank you. We really need more. Thank you. We actually love being spoiled, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my land. How is there more? Um, oh, look how cute. <laughs> Oh, this is adorable. Look. And I just found two more command hooks today. So, yes, baby. Jasper was eating the package. <laughs> oh, another one. Oh, he looks like he's in a snow globe. And it says, ho, ho, ho. <gasps> and another one. Oh, and look, it's like a little light. An old-fashioned Christmas light. My favorite. This is all <laughs> more. Girl, oh, no, that is cute. That is so cute with the Christmas tree. And it's a trailer. I just noticed it was a trailer. I thought it was a car. That's the best. And another one. Okay, yeah, just, you know, five giant signs. Can we mail this? How much is it gonna cost? A million dollars. Jeez Louise. She's happy with the bubble wrap. <laughs> 
This is amazing. I am so grateful. Happy holidays. That's so cute. And look at the glitter, Winnie. You think we're going to have to get daddy with these? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. Oh, so fun. This is amazing. Thank you, Stephanie, so much. Did I finish opening her card? I don't think I did. I think I got too excited and swept up in the moment. Where is it? <laughs> it's probably buried. Yeah, it's buried, all right. Hmm. Was there a card? Yes, there was a card. Yes, okay, hold on. It's right here. <laughs> I really got swept up in the moment. I can't keep up with her, you guys. Oh, happy, brightest, merriest, most wonderful time of the year. Heck yeah. Oh, Stephanie, you wrote me a story. I'm going to read it, honey. Many Merry Christmas wishes to you. May your Christmas be blessed with lots of love, fun, peace, joy, and happiness. Oh, honey. I'm going to read this and then I'll come right back. Bye. Stephanie, thank you so much. I am so glad that you found my channel. And honestly, I feel this way like with all of you guys. Like I know I I call you my friends, but you guys are so much more than friends to me, honestly. I actually like, I think it's starting to snow. Oh my goodness. Squirrel. No. <laughs> I actually. Mommy, um, I'm happy that she didn't give me those. She got you Spongebob. Oh yeah. Ren and Stimpy weren't my favorite, but I did like Hey Arnold. But Spongebob and Patrick are amazing. Um, I really feel like your family and I actually like if I'm in town or like doing stuff I actually think like I want to go home because I need to talk to my family I need to like make time for my family and comment and I truly enjoy each and every one of you and I in my last video the one that I posted today I talked about getting um a little um a little bit of hate from some people in the comments um number one I was getting <laughs> I got called one of those sheep people um, and got quite cursed out because I was wearing a mask. Um, blocked, you know. Um, anyone else, like I've been having some hate about me doing too much for my kids. Um, for Sheppy, doing too much for my kids. I had actually gym today. You what? You actually did have gym today? Yeah. Anyways, um, and I talked about that in today's video that went up. Um, and I was very happily reminded that the majority of people that watch my videos oh, are true friends, true family. Can I play some and <laughs> I seriously cannot think around Winnie sometimes because she's so distracting. Hi, Jassy. So I'll come sit with you for a little. But what I wanted to say was I was reminded today that most of you guys are not jerks. <laughs> and I think just sometimes like the negative comments um, are the loudest. You know what I mean? Like, but for every negative comment that I get, I get like 25 beautifully nice ones, you know? So even though the mean ones are loud, I need to remember to just shut those ones up. Like I don't even respond to them and, and I haven't and I won't because I know a lot of people that leave mean comments are hurting themselves. Like they are angry and they take it out on people that they don't know because it's easy and it's a release of anger even though it has nothing to do with me. Or they're just trying to start drama. And I'm not interested in that at all. Um, but when I get mean comments, um, all I do is I just say hide user from channel. I just click on it and they're gone. And I don't have to see them anymore. And I think they can still view the videos. But if they try to comment, um, then it doesn't show up in the comment feed. Like I think they can still comment, but they they won't find it. Like it won't be in the comments because some of my videos, there's been quite a few dislikes on some of my videos. So I think, um, some of those people who are haters, we'll call them that because that's kind of what they are. Um, I think that they just come on the videos to click dislike. Um, anyways, I, 
I've said it over and over and over and I know I don't need to explain myself about spending money on my kids or heck spending money on myself. It's I don't need to apologize for it and I know and I was reminded and I'm grateful for all of my friends and family because um, you guys are way more than friends to me. I just, I appreciate you guys. And <laughs> getting spoiled like that is like, I can't even believe that you guys are that thoughtful, but you are. <laughs> it's just so nice. It's so nice. And I feel so grateful. And it's like the best time of the year. And actually, I was going to take some Advil because I've had a headache all day again today. I think Christmas does it to me. I just get too excited. Um, but I was going to take Advil, but I forgot. And while we were opening presents, I didn't feel my headache at all. But now that I'm talking, I'm like, yeah, it's right here. That's where she goes. Anyways, <laughs> Anyways I'm going to have to end this video soon because this is going to be a very long video and it's going to be one of those ones that takes forever to finalize and then upload to YouTube. So I actually should probably say goodbye, but let me go get the boys. I want to show you something actually. Cooper, a teacher. Oh, look at this boy. You guys know you love him. You're such a good boy, aren't you? I can't wait to give him his Christmas presents. Oh, I really can't wait. Oh, he's going to love it. He's going to love all of his presents. He's going to be so excited. So what are these girls up to? What are you doing? Maskers. You're looking at the what? Maskers. Maskers? That means masks. Masks. There you go. <laughs> she does call them maskers a lot. Um, Cooper's teachers... They made like a North Pole store so kids could buy, they could bring their own money in and buy stuff for their parents. And I didn't even know, but he sneaked money to school today. His own money. He's got way more money than I do. Just hold on, Winnie, okay? Um, he bought this for Winnie. And then he bought two things for his mama with his own money. Look, a little doggy, a little Dalmatian Santa, and <laughs> you guys, he bought me this. Isn't that adorable? Hello, does my son know me or what? He definitely knows his mama. Anyways, yes, you can open that. All right, let's go say bye to the boys, or let's go have the boys say bye to you. <laughs> what? See ya. <laughs> He's got important things to do, guys. Fortnite ain't gonna play itself. <laughs> What's this guy playing? All the same thing. Are you playing with each other? Yeah. Yeah? Can you say bye? Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. <laughs> Who are you playing with? Grayson, Skylar, and Weston. Cool. Did you and Weston do one of those cool um, handshakes today? Did you do a handshake today? Yeah. Epic. They have the coolest handshake, him and his friend. They have the coolest handshake you would ever see in middle school, okay? Don't even try to be better than them. It's actually really cool. All right, I'm gonna say goodbye. And I'm going to get this video going because <laughs> look what I have to clean up, guys. All right, I love you guys. I'm so grateful you're in my life. Merry Christmas. It's here, guys. Love you. Bye.